Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start this workshop. So please have a nice seat. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I hope that all participants that come here today and those who attend this workshop online are still full of energy because we have passed uh, so many sessions today and due to technical uh, problems we have to postpone the workshop for one hour and now we will start the workshop um, let me present myself my name is Dewi Sintiari I am from Universitas Pendidikan Ganesha Singaraja I'm very happy to see you here and online and it's an honor for me to be a moderator of this workshop as all of you probably have read on the schedule the theme of this workshop is optimization using graphs many thanks to Yokohama National University Japan for initiating this workshop here we already have our speaker from Yokohama Professor Dr. Seiya Negami Professor Seiya, welcome in Bali virtually uh, Can you hear our voice clearly, Professor Seiya? Yes, I can hear you Right Yeah No it, problem, but as a person, other two person already come here? No, not yet? Um, so uh, Professor Benny informed me of some new link address uh, So I, um, I just uh, check in but uh, other two person never yet, I think. Make sense? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, this workshop, yes, uh, there are three persons uh, have to speak in this workshop. Okay. No? Uh, oh, so I'm sorry. I'm so there are uh, some miscommunication. We have uh, three speakers, right, from Yokohama. Yes. So, uh, welcome to all speakers. Um, so, um, before the presentation starts, let me first tell the participants how this workshop will be organized. So, per first, Professor Seyanegami will be invited to present the material, and then we will have uh, the two other speakers. Sorry, I will speak Japanese to uh, Professor Kenta Ozeki. Uh, Ozeki kun sa. Okay, Nakamoto so the two other speakers finish. are Professor Atsuhiro Nakamoto, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Associate Professor Kenta Ozeki. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first, Professor so, Seiya. Uh, yeah. Professor Seiya. All of three already exist here. Atsuhiro, can you hear me? Okay. The two other speakers are not yet connected, Professor Seiya. All right, all right, all right. So yes. maybe we can start from Professor Seiya while waiting the two other speakers mm -hmm. to join us online. Okay. Well, wait a minute. I, um, I talked with uh, Professor Kenta. Okay, we already have Associate Professor Kenta Ozaki here. Welcome, Professor Kenta. Can you hear our voice yes, clearly? Maybe, uh, prof yeah, sorry, maybe the Professor Nakamoto never check up the new address. So someone have to inform him it. So, yeah, so I will begin. Yeah, okay, we will try to contact Professor Atsuhiro. Ozeki in the Japanese language. So please wait, wait for minutes. Ozeki Nakamoto sensei. All right. Okay, so, um, Someone uh, called Professor Nakamoto to uh, to come here, so no problem. I uh, I will I can I can start my talk now. Okay, right. right. Okay, right. thank you, Professor Seya. Okay. Right. Um. So, as I said earlier, 
uh, we will start by the first speaker, Professor Sayanegami, and then we'll have the second speaker. So depending whether Professor Atsuhiro will join us or not, uh, we'll see who will be the second speaker. And after the three speakers present the material, we'll have uh, the question and answer session and we'll close uh, the workshop by a little bit of conclusion. Now, allow okay. me to welcome Professor Dr. Seiya Negami to deliver his presentation. But beforehand, please let me to briefly introduce Professor Seiya. So a little bit of academic background of Professor Dr. Seiya Negami. Professor Dr. Seiya Negami is a professor in Yokohama National University in Japan. Professor Seiya was graduated from Tokyo Institute of Technology and is now working in Yokohama National University as Executive Director and Vice President for Education and Information Sciences. Professor Seiya is a mathematician, which is a pioneer of topological graph theory in Japan and working for reformation of mathematics education. He has written so many papers in many reputable journals, and today, We'll listening Dr. Seiya, who will tell us about what happens in a very huge network. So, Professor Seiya Negami, please you may share your screen. Right, I try to uh, my screen, uh, share my screen. All right, can you can you see my screen? Yes, it's visible clearly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I start my slideshow. Well, okay, so uh, thank you very much introduction. And uh, my name is Seiyanegami from uh, speaking from Japan online. Uh, so I have, uh, first of all, I have to apologize to you and uh, our absent in the body. So uh, we are, uh, we actually want to go to Bali and uh, discuss with you directly, but uh, I um, unfortunately in many situations uh, denied, uh, uh, didn't allow us to go there. Sorry, and uh, well, and this uh, workshop is presented by a YNU Research Center for Topological Graph Theory, and uh, it's consists of uh, three talks uh, given by these three guys. And I am a founder of this research center and was working as a, as a cent, uh, chief before, but a few years ago, <clears throat> I gave this that position uh, to uh, Professor Nakamoto. Uh, and, uh, and now uh, Professor Nakamoto is organizing everything on this research center. And also associate Professor Kenta Ozeki is very uh, strong a mathematician, young mathematician, and he is also a member of uh, this uh, research center. And uh, I think uh, someone here may have already know Akenta uh, because uh, he has organized some uh, online workshop for students at uh, Samuraturangi University. I think, okay, I will begin my talk, all right. So uh, question is, today, uh, I, I want to ask such question, that is just the title. What happens in a very a huge network? As you know, the computer network grows larger and larger uh, to form a very huge crowd, right? And uh, getting uh, more powerful and giving us uh, comfortable services. However, nothing trouble happens forever, right? I don't know the answer, but uh, I would like to establish a theory to find such a phenomenon in advance, right? Okay. So what is called uh, Ramsey theory might meet my expe expectations. Uh, this is an area of discrete mathematics uh, to find such phenomena as follows. Any self-centrally large system contains an avoidable, unavoidable structure. Uh, theorems with such a statement are called Ramsey type theorem or simply a uh, Ramsey theorem. To explain this, I will show a very easy Ramsey theorem, which is called a party problem, right? This is a party problem. 
uh, if there are six people together, they're having a party, uh, like uh, this picture. And uh, so maybe I think uh, you can find uh, my name at the bottom of this picture, the Negami. Negami is a, a Mexican music band. And uh, it consists of five people. One person is not a member of the Negami. And I don't know the precious meaning of Negami in the Mexican language. And this, uh, this is exactly my name, but I don't know what is this. Uh, anyway, that supports, there are six people together. Then uh, they include three persons who know each other, or three persons who don't know each other. Makes sense? All right. To, uh, to make its meaning more clear, um, I will explain it using a glass theory, like this, right? And uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, it stands for each number six persons. And if two persons uh, know each other, then uh, we draw a red line uh, between them. And the, on the other hand, if they don't know each other, we draw a blue line in this picture. And uh, Mr. A and knows D and also knows F, uh, but he don't know, he doesn't know where B, C, and E. Make sense? So uh, we can draw such a graph, right? Okay, so um, suppose I uh, look at uh, Mr. A, the top guys. And uh, so uh, you can find five lines uh, joined to the other person, other five persons. And uh, you know, um, so in this case, um, Mr. A have three friends and the two other guys, he don't know, he doesn't know. And uh, uh, in general, so uh, one, uh, from one person, five lines goes outside, right? And uh, these five lines, sorry, fuck. Uh, these five lines um, uh, covered by the red or blue. So more than half uh, edges uh, must have the same color. And uh, for example, a blue or a red, in this case, in this picture, in this picture, uh, so uh, three, there are three lines. And we focus on this, uh, three persons, B, C, E, in this case, and uh, consider the teacher ahead along having the four vertices. Um, all right, I'm sorry, something, something strange. Okay, uh, and uh, again, so uh, look at the four persons, A, B, C, E, okay? So um, this uh, is to make a teacher or hedron. And uh, look at the uh, such tetrahedron. So I will show you uh, show you that that tetrahedron on the right side, like that. If the bottom triangle, base triangle has a blue line, for example, between E and C, we can see we can find a blue triangle ACE. So in a or if uh, uh, there is a blue line between BC or a blue line between BE, and in any case, we can find blue line, blue triangles. But if uh, there is not such a blue triangles, so the base triangle uh, has only red edges. In this case, we can find a red triangles. So we can conclude that there exists either a, tri a red triangle or a blue triangle. Make sense? All right. So, um, so um, that red triangle, of course, cor correspond to uh, uh, three persons who knows each other, right? And the blue triangle uh, correspond to the three persons who don't know each other, right? So uh, this argument, uh, uh, you know, conclude is some party problem. Okay. So if the uh, if he uh, state the party problem in the terminology of graph theory, uh, the, we can say that uh, the complete graph K6, something happened. Uh, um, the complete graph K6 obeys the color, uh, edges colored by red and the blue, like that, so arbitrary, contains an either a red triangle or a blue triangle. 
Makes sense. And uh, for example, this picture is show um, uh, um, uh, one edge, uh, not ne never yet uh, colored any, by any colors, right? If we add uh, along the horizontal line, we, we color uh, just uh, blue. So we can find uh, many blue triangles. If color the edge vertical line, uh, vertical edge uh, by red, so also uh, we can find uh, uh, red triangles, okay? So uh, graphically, as uh, red triangle can be uh, can be real, regarded as a complete graph of the over the three vertices. Uh, we denote it as K three, and so a red triangle can be called a red K three. On the other hand, the blue triangle uh, can be say uh, or uh, the blue blue K three, right? So. And uh, uh, we call these uh, triangles uh, just uh, monochromatic triangle. Monochromatic means just uh, uh, colored by only on one color, right? So red triangle uh, colored only red, and the blue triangle colored only blue. So uh, uh, in any case, uh, red triangle, the blue triangle, uh, we can call them just uh, monochromatic triangles, OK? So um, we can say if there is uh, five or more vertices and the joined by the blue and the uh, red edges arbitrarily, then always we can find a monochromatic triangle. Okay. So uh, I have a question, uh, just a problem for exercise. Uh, compl uh, complete graph K6 with the edges colored by red and blue arbitrarily contains at least two monochromatic triangles. We have already found one monochromatic triangle. So uh, please find one more, one more, another one, right? Uh, but uh, this is just uh, an exercise for beginners. So I recommend you consider this problem after the, uh, the our workshop. Okay, so well, I want to talk about the huge system. Yeah. Now, now we're discussing about only a very small system consistent, but only uh, six persons. So now we consider a very, very big system, right? Uh, so um, the party probably can be uh, generalized into this, uh, this theorem, right? Uh, given any two natural numbers, M and N, then uh, there exists a natural number K, uh, for which is a function of the two parameters, M and N, uh, such that a uh, complete graph KR, uh, for which I mean, uh, uh, it's have, uh, uh, it, which have uh, odd vertices, so enough many vertices, uh, with co edges colored by red and blue arbitrarily, it contains either a red KM or a blue KM. So uh, instead of a triangle, just uh, now uh, include a very big complete graph. It's a monochromatic uh, complete graph, uh, or a dual group, right? So very roughly speaking, shaft century large uh, complete graph colored by two colors always contain uh, enough, enough big monochromatic complete graph. Uh, for example, uh, this picture show the, uh, this picture show um, maybe the uh, complete graph of about 28 vertices and its edges colored by the uh, uh, red and blues. And uh, if, you if you choose vertices uh, arbitrarily, uh, suitably, uh, then you can find this complete graph uh, consisting of only uh, red, de red edges or uh, blue edges, right? Um, so, but I don't know which one occurs. Uh, well, uh, minimum value of this number all uh, with the two parameters, M and N, is called Ramsey number. And uh, for example, Ramsey number of three and three, uh, that is R three three, is equal to six by our previous argument of a party problem. Uh, it is hardly possible to determine the precise value of the Ramsey numbers for general parameters. However, uh, small cases has been already determined as uh, this table. 
I get uh, this table from uh, Wikipedia, and but I I don't know uh, the detail of his, his this history. Please check up it. Check it up by yourself if you take your interest in how this table is determined. Anyways, the Ramsey number is a very large number in general, but it is a finite number. So thus we can find the sufficiently large complete graph colored by two colors, always contain an enough big monochromatic complete graph, right? That this is the unavoidable structure. And now we have just uh, we have just discussed the Ramsey number for two colors. Uh, however, there has been known the Ramsey number for uh, three or more colors, right? To understand this situation, look at the sky at night. Uh, you can see in a lot of stars, uh, there exist 100 trillion stars in the universe, a very, 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 very huge number of stars, right? So we well, um, make the complete graph uh, over the 100 trillion stars. Uh, of course, we, can, we cannot do that so in the practically, uh, but just to do it in uh, imaginary in your brain. So, and assign uh, three colors, uh, red, blue, and yellow to uh, the, its edges according to the following rule, right? Red, if two stars are moving away from each other, so we uh, assign the red to the edge and uh, joining to these stars. If two stars are approaching to each other, we assign uh, blue to uh, the color between them. And otherwise, uh, that is uh, two stars keep uh, this, their distance, keep the distance, not the approach, not uh, going away. So if we assign yellow, it, yellow to its uh, the edges between them, right? So um, what's happened? So uh, by Lamed theorem, uh, we can conclude that there is a very, very big uh, monochromatic complete graph uh, consists of the uh, stars, right? Uh, it's uh, totally red or totally blue or totally yellow. These situation corresponding explosion or a shrink or rotating, right? Such phenomenon happens in many, many places in the universe, uh, but we can uh, conclude such a situation uh, existence of such a situation, uh, you know, uh, but uh, we never uh, never calculate anything and also never try to solve the uh, differential equation that uh, uh, physicists use. And that is a point. This is a mathematical power, right? So I, I like power and the force. In particular, uh, there exists a huge number of stars they are uh, they are just, just explore corresponding explosion or shrinking or rotating, right? So just I love Star Wars. So anyway, uh, I, I want to uh, introduce my theory, my Lamsay theorem. I proved the 1998 uh, and uh, Lamsay, uh, I proved a Lamsay type theorem for the spatial graph. It's a slightly difficult to understand, but the statement like that. Okay, given a not, a not a ring on a spatial graph K, a knot is just a closed cup drawn in a three space, and the link is a collection of not, collection of a simple closed cup in a space, and the spatial graph is just a, a graph drawn in a three space, like a uh, frame of polyhedral, right? And so given the such things, uh, there exists a natural number R. It's called, it should be called the Lamsay number for K, uh, such that any spatial rectilinear embedding of the complete graph uh, with R vertices contain a subdivision of K. So um, um, it might be difficult to understand that this statement precisely, so explain it. Uh, very, very roughly, please imagine a sufficiently large complete in graph, uh, the three space like this picture, right? This is a complete graph. There are many 
many, many huge number of barracks is plotted and joined by uh, line segments and uh, to make the complete graph, right? And imagine the, um, the focus, imagine the flame of the cube just in your mind, okay? And then uh, we can find the flame of a cube uh, like uh, in uh, this very, very huge uh, complete graph. It's co uh, contained a frame of cube, but partially uh, subdivided, okay? Uh, the, the edge is not a straight line, just to, uh, for example, one, uh, one, one edge is consistent with two edge of the complete graph. So I uh, try to deform, uh, deform the com uh, complete graph itself uh, to, to uh, destroy the such cube, uh, changing the uh, situation, uh, uh, relative position of edge and ups and down, change ups and down. So uh, such a frame of cube destroyed. It, it, the cube uh, will not be not in a, a cube anymore. Then so it disappears. But we can find another frame of cube in the same place, right? Um, this is a my story. So uh, it, it's not very, very roughly speaking, very, very big, complete graph, uh, the long and the three space. So uh, any any drawing contains uh, so uh, cube frame of a cube, right? This is my cellar. Okay. So how about your neural? So now imagine them, our brain. Our brain consists of a lot of neurons, right? Uh, so that uh, I, I think a neuron is unpersonal and uh, basically the everyone the same, all the same. But our brain have uh, many parts and many parts, it's uh, correspond to uh, uh, different uh, functions, vision and the healing or so, and so on. So even if the neuron itself are the same one, why? Uh, the brain uh, so divided into the many many parts that correspond to different different function. I think it's a very uh, very uh, near to the Ramsey era phenomenon. So that is a mystery of life or a mathematical fact. Okay. So another thing. Uh, recently, artificial intelligence AI has been more popular. In particular, uh, deep learning uh, works well in uh, many areas in the, our society. And at the present, what happened inside inside of the deep learning uh, network, deep, deep learning, is unknown. Just we know it works well. So the inside unknown. Uh, I imagine something special will happen uh, inside a very, very large network of deep learning. Uh, it's uh, very similar to the Ramza cell realm. So, well, uh, finally, I uh, talk about my dream. Uh, something wonderful or something bad would happen in a very large, huge network, and a mathematician will prove it someday in the far future. <laughs> this is my dream. That's all. Thank you. That's the end. Okay, uh, can, can't uh, uh, speak, uh, give the lecture?